Morning to you, morning to you too. Uh, of course, we buy our oil from all over the world, so events uh, and all sorts of different factors can really affect the price. Now, the slowdown in Chinese factory, that's one example. Uh, trade sanctions with Iran, that's affecting the price too. And that all determines what we pay at the petrol pump, as uh, well as the cost of drilling and refining the oil into petrol or diesel. But of course, ultimately, all of this is about supply and demand. And at the moment, demand is low and supply is high. So, well, that means that fuel is cheaper. Now, of course, this varies across the country, but on average, it's about 108 pence a litre for petrol and it's 110 pence a litre for diesel. Now, the RAC, it says we could possibly see fuel at that elusive one pound a litre mark pretty soon. Well, James Spencer is the managing director of Portland Fuel. It's a firm that trades oil and analyzes the market. Uh, good morning. We talked there about the fact there are many other factors that affect the price of oil, whether that's getting it to the petrol station, it's the refining that goes into it in the first place, not just digging it out of the ground. So we talk about a 10% fall in wholesale prices. How likely is that to affect the price we pay at the pump? Um, well, probably the first thing to, to say is that the crude oil price is slightly different to the refined product prices. So they're two separate markets. So it is quite feasible to have crude oil prices drop whilst refined products stay as they are or even rise, mm. simply because um, there's two different supply and demand um, dynamics going on. People who buy crude oil aren't the same as the consumers who buy refined products. Um, to get down to a pound a litre, which is the kind of the, the number that people are talking, very roughly, um, crude oil would fall two and a half dollars a barrel. That's equivalent to one pence a litre. So if the numbers that you had on the screen there are about ten pence a litre to drop, so we're talking another three or four dollars a barrel doesn't seem impossible. Clearly, this time last year, prices were $100 a barrel. Um, but that being said, I think there's a general view that 40 is perhaps the bottom of the market in terms of any further drops. Yeah, and that's the point. So actually, if we were to see a pound a litre, as you said, it would make the barrel of oil about $35. Everyone in the past probably saying that is maybe impossible. But as you said, this time last year, we saw them at $100 a barrel. Now they're about 40 Going to 35, that extra five dollars doesn't seem like a big leap, does it? Yeah, and uh, you know, it's not it's not at all infeasible. I mean, I remember in the 90s when I was in the oil industry, you know, oil prices were seven dollars a barrel, and nobody $7. was walking around kind of saying this is the end of the world and we can't cope with this. So. Um, to think that it can't fall below 40 is clearly, you know, it's ridiculous. That being said, you are in a, a situation where demand does continue to grow. It's just slowing. The pace of um, growth is slowing of demand. And, you know, maybe, at the, maybe the second half of 2016, something will give with the oil producers. Is it fair that we always have that perception, I talked about it with Nagar and John there, that uh, prices rise so quickly when wholesale prices go up, but there is that feeling, isn't there, that they fall so slowly whenever the wholesale price comes down. And there is an element, we think, that the retailers are cashing in on that and they make a bit of money while the prices are it's falling. Probably, it's probably a bit unfair. Um, I think it's fair to say uh, any petrol retailer who says over the last 12 months they're, they're not making more margin than perhaps they have made in the previous three or four years, perhaps is being disingenuous. However, when you look at where we were in 2009, certainly all of our numbers would show. So 2009, February 2009 was around this level, 41, 42. That was the, late, the last time it was at this mm. level. Um, actually, margins on petrol stations are lower now mm. than they were back then. So I think profiteering is too strong, but I think it's a more comfortable time for petrol retailers at the moment. Mm. One we'll watch very closely. James, thanks very much. James Spencer there from Portland Fuel. So uh, keep an eye on those prices at the pump and see whether we get to that level, that pound a litre level.